No, I'm up. Hey, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> I won't be able to go live, so I'm doing this recording. Can't go live um, because the area we're in now, the reception is absolutely horrible. Um, yeah. So, let me just tell you. It does not get easier. I thought because I had been down this road before um, with one of my children that pulling out of the parking lot isn't hard. Oh, but that's a lot. <laughs> I even thought that it would be easier because even though this is my bonus child and I've been in his life since he was five um, four five six I don't even remember years old um, but he's a boy and so with your boys it's supposed to be easier because you prepare them It's so hard. Um, and it was even worse. <laughs> With my daughter, I was a G. I was a soldier. I didn't cry in front of her. I cried when we left like now. But my boy, <laughs> it's hard. Um, it's just as hard. So, um, yeah. And it's crazy because our daughter, <laughs> our daughter walked us to the door. I'll never forget. And I hugged her and I told her that I loved her. And I was like, you know, do your best. I'm proud of you. Same spiel I gave him. But um, he was about to walk us to the door. And I said, no, we walked him up. Um, there's a need for him to walk us back down. Is that not crazy? He's the boy. The oldest boy. Um, but yeah. So. To all you mamas out there that hadn't experienced this whole college thing yet. I want to prepare you. Because nobody prepared me. With my daughter, I remember us leaving at the house. I was excited. She was going on this new venture, and it just hit me like in the pit of my stomach. Like, whoa, she's entering into adulthood. And then, um, Tavares, boy, you better have that seatbelt on. How you got a seatbelt on like that? Um, and still fussing at the 17 year old um, but then even watching them say goodbye and it's just so mature and it's like like this is the moment that you prepare them for <clears throat> but somewhere we don't prepare, prepare ourselves for it I guess we focus so much on them we forget to focus on us um, and that's my thought process like okay so we have one more senior year and then it's just me, Dre, Desi and Ivy what does that look like um, like my life is going to go through a whole nother period of evolving a whole nother evolution and I'm okay I know I'll get to be a grandma one day um they're all married and found their lifelong spouses and have enjoyed life um, but it still doesn't make it easier um, but yeah I'm proud of them um, six hours away is long um, 
drive, but I promise you, I believe if I needed to be here too, I could do it. Um, I'd make it happen. <laughs> so yeah, um, I won't. So I won't be live. As I said that earlier. So that's why I'm posting this video. And again, just giving y'all the real, authentic deal. Um, and I'm proud. Like I am super duper proud. He has wanted to be a marine biologist all of his life, <laughs> and to go through the um, science building and see all of the pictures from 2019 when they um, did their coastal studies in Honduras and um, the pictures of them under the water and repairing the reef ecosystem and. Um, um, just taking photos of different marine life I'm excited for him because I know that's what he's always wanted to do um, but again at the same time it's bittersweet because like in four years when he graduates and get out of school it's not a situation where you come home um, and I jokingly said it um, earlier. I was like, I'm not going to cry. Because he kept saying, "You cry? are you crying? Are you crying? And I'm like, I'm not going to cry. For I was like, I've done this before. And the kid came back home, you know. She graduated college on time. She just came back home and finished out school. And she's still at home until her wedding in October. So, yeah. Um, but it's good. It is good. What's wrong, right? Got the uh, guy for the address. Oh. Um. Yeah. So this is good. Um. It's absolutely good. I got the resident, the chief residence number in my phone. I don't know the name, but I'm going to call back. Um. So, Dre. Um. You okay? Firstborn. So what? Let's see, your firstborn. Not first child, but mm -hmm. your firstborn. Um, you're good. Okay. Proud of him. Definitely proud of him. Yeah. Extremely proud of him. Yes, I'm extremely proud as well. I can truly say I'm, I'm proud of him. I'm proud of my husband. I'm proud of his mother. Um, I'm proud of my children. Um, I'm proud of this blended family that God has made. And it is marvelous <laughs> in his eyes. And it is marvelous in my eyes too. Um, Who knew? <laughs> That's all I can say. It's who knew. So, with that being said, um, we're on a six hour drive back home. Uh, my heart is happy. My heart is happy. <laughs> but my good is a little sad. Um, but I know I'll get over it. Tavares, are you proud? You said what? Oh, is there anything you'd like to say? Are you crying? Because <laughs> y'all gonna sit there and play each other anyway. They'll probably talk to each other more than than, uh, than I will. And I missed a good moment. Um, we were standing outside the bathroom door and he just laid his head on his dad's shoulder even though <laughs> he's taller than his dad um, and it was just like God like that it's just beautiful um, to be able to have those moments and though it wasn't captured on camera <laughs> y'all excuse me 
couple of bits. <laughs> it is definitely captured in my heart. Um, it always have. He's always loved his dad. Um, and he loves his well and his sister. And he loves me. <laughs> and he loves his brother and his other sisters. Um, and I'm grateful for it. So, yeah. With that being said, truly just wanted to come on because I knew it was a little before seven. Um, hopefully, this video will even upload because there's no internet reception. Um, and of course, y'all know I don't do any editing. Gotta work on that though because I do have um, in the science center they have some some animals and there's a parrot and um when i walked up to the door the parrot is watching television they have the te they have the television on for the parrot to i think it was a parrot is that a parrot or a toucan it had to be a parrot yeah because toucans don't talk right So it was a parrot and so while i was at the door at first he or she um was watching television and then um he or she was watching television and then um um i turned to walk away and it made this sound it was like Arr! i was like what in the world in this when um my baby mother told me the bird is talking to me. I was like, that's not the bird talking to me. And so I turned around again and went back. And he or she, I don't know, the parrot didn't say anything else. It was just kind of moving in the cage. And then when I walked away, um, what did I say it was saying? Um, oh, oh, oh my God. What, what did he say? Oh, I'm Birdie. <laughs> I'm Birdie. I'm Birdie. Oh, and that was pretty cool. They also have some um, reptile and other marine life there. But yeah, I wasn't too interested in it. Um, I just wished like it wasn't a turnaround trip. Because we left out this morning at four. And we have to go back today. Um because again i have desi and i have ivy um and ivy's aide needs tomorrow off so that she can go to take care of things with her child for school um and head east on us 40 east toward us 40 west and yeah so i have to be back home uh, well we have to be back home as well as um though desi has overnight coverage like she had to stay home from therapy today in order for us to all be able to make the trip otherwise my husband would have had to make it himself and i look back on it and i wonder did i even make a good decision i know i made a great decision by coming because that's my baby too but like he probably could have stayed overnight with him um this first night and um nor my husband he would have because <laughs> he's just that great of a dad yeah so anyway yeah y'all got this whole crying video and y'all get to experience um me dropping my son off and i still have one son left though he's trying not to be seen where's your charger No, I'm not using. I'm using the charger. Crisscross and make it chunk, chunk. I don't know what's going on with him in the hair. I'm trying to let him figure himself out, um, but Lord knows, um, your hair is longer than mine. I guess that ain't his fault though. <sighs> Anywho, I'm okay. See, I'm better already. Tears drying up. Um, probably not gonna cry anymore. Um, 
I don't know, because with, with that girl, when I tell you I was down the whole weekend, and all I kept thinking was, why didn't anybody tell me this? Why didn't anybody share with me that this is, this, like, what is this I'm feeling? Nobody told me. Nobody told me. Um, but that's love, right? Yeah. What you got to say, son? Push who? Okay. So you can't be moving it. I gotta be the co-pilot, y'all. But yes, see, I'm look at my eyes. They 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 are dry. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. It probably is. Are you charging? Okay, well you're gonna have to wait, see. Um, yeah, it's in there, son. Y'all, okay, so we're on the way home. Um, my son, the youngest son, told the oldest son, We'll call you when we get home. We're like, No, you're not, <laughs> but then again they're up this time of the night anyway so I don't know um it's just it just it's like the is it me or did the time go by really fast it, it so it did it went by really fast and so it makes me think about all those times when I was like oh I can't wait till y'all get grown because y'all stay doing this 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 and now they're getting grown and it's like y'all are growing up too fast but then tomorrow, I'm sure I'll be fussing at him about something. And I don't know. Um, you probably won't see him tomorrow. You said what? You said maybe not. You probably won't see him tomorrow. Yeah, probably won't. Um, it's, you said what? No, now she needs her own address. At 24, baby, I love her. I do. Um, uh, but it's time. <laughs> it's time. And even with the boys, I mean, it's just, these are the moments that you get to celebrate in that I'm learning not to take for granted because um, some parents don't get to see this. Some parents don't get to witness this. And we did you know and some children don't get to experience this with their parents and we did um and so yeah we got one more to go and then we have about a what nine year span before we're at this place again and i just don't know if destiny can leave memphis at all like I don't know if my heart can take it. Um, I don't even want to think that far ahead. I'm just going to enjoy the moments and the times that we have with her now. And enjoy the moments and time that I have with my husband. Um, because one thing with us being a blended family, we never got the opportunity to experience life without children. Um, and so... I mean, we still will have children, but I mean, like life in a house without children. So, I, I don't know what it feels like to just be able to be foot loose, foot loose. Um, yeah, he gets to experience that more than me um, because they're boys. <laughs> so yeah, but anyway, um, I'm gonna get off of here done a good 20 minutes or so and I do feel better and it looks like we're about to go into some rain um, but yeah so to my husband I am proud of you hun you did a great job raising him what that's about as much of a bow I can give you right then okay okay and then I am proud of you Patrice you did a great job raising him and I am proud of me 
because I did a great job raising him and I am just thankful for his entire village his grandparents great grandparents godparents aunties uncles um, everybody that had a hand in making him the young man he is and I know he's going to be okay I can't say it enough I know he's going to be okay so with that being said, I love you guys. Sending lots of love, joy, peace, blessings your way. Keep us in your prayers as we take this drive home. Um, pray that I can stay up <laughs> so that I can help my husband um, and co-pilot for him. I know dude back there is going to go to sleep. Well, let's see. Use the left lane to take the I-70 East ramp, then merge onto mm -hmm. I-70 East before he, we could even get out of commit. Um, his belly is full, full though. Um, that was the other thing that kind of put us behind. Because like with my daughter, we went to have lunch with her. We, we had lunch with her before we left her. Um, but she was only two, two hours away from home as well. And so we knew that we wanted to have dinner with him. Um, just because that's what you do. You don't just be like, right, bye, get out. <laughs> See you later. Um, and so... But it was like getting things set up and it was just a little different also because when we, my daughter had her own room and with my son, it's different because he has a roommate and so trying to share space and then his roommate isn't there yet and trying to make sure that we are thinking about, um, what do you call it, spreading, uh, making sure that things are even and, and shared and that we're considerate of his space excuse me <laughs> of both of their space and so we were just going to run and grab him a quick pizza and then my youngest son said um, so you wanted to sit down and have dinner and he was like yeah I'll do that and so at that point what can we say you know no, he was like yeah I want that at that point, what can we say? No, no. I mean, we don't have time. No, we'll make time. Um, and so that's what we did, which has us on the road. Um, yeah, at 7 p.m. for a little before seven before a for a six-hour drive. So we'll get home. One, two. Yeah, um, and it's raining. It just started, so. But it's all good. Um, I'm happy that my son got the opportunity to enjoy this one. Because um, he didn't get to go with his big sister. Because he had school. And, um, yeah. But he gets to go. He got to go this time. Um, and knowing him, if they can have their way, there'll be some time that he'll be up here with his brother. But with that being said, I am signing off, babe. You signing off? Yes, sir. Deuces. <laughs> deuces. And so, yeah, I do say deuces. Um, we did find him a great piece of place, though, and it, it can be walked to it from campus if he wants to. And he got to meet um, the owner. Um, and I just think that the, the fact that I have a child that still says, yes, sir. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Um, I know that that's going to take him far. Um, and he's so mild. Um, I, he is my gentle giant. Um, and I'm grateful for him. Um, so, and I'm even all the more grateful for his mom because she shared him with me. And when I say she shared him with me right down to this moment, she shared with me. And I appreciate it. I do. Didn't see it, didn't see it like this in the beginning, y'all. Nobody could have told that it would have ended this great. And this isn't the end, you know, we get to be grandmamas together. <laughs> we get to do a lot together. Um, 
but I'm just grateful. Um, yeah, I'm grateful. <sighs> okay, didn't I say the tears were gone like 10 minutes ago? Yeah, then I just thought about where we are. So, the camera angle, I don't care. Um, but yeah, keep us in your prayers. I'm not gonna blow my nose on camera, so <laughs> I'll just sound stopped up <laughs> till I get off. Um, but yes, I love you guys.